Now to the latest on the vaccine. First, information you need to know as scientists are tracking three different strains of COVID-19 of COVID-19 and of them, the more prominent one coming from the United Kingdom. Nearly a third of all reported cases in the US are right here in Florida. So how could this variant affect the effectiveness of our vaccines? On your side's David Jones is asking the experts. As of Tuesday, CDC data shows 343 confirmed cases of the UK variant in Florida, the most in the country. In fact, the only state coming close is California with 156 cases. But experts say you should take these numbers with a grain of salt. There's a lot more. Uh, we just don't have robust genetic sequencing in order to tell us that the variant strain is predominant. Chad Nielsen, director of infection prevention at UF Health, says it's likely the UK variant will become dominant, but we don't have the technology to confirm every case. While that variant is more contagious, scientists are more concerned with the South African strain. Just this week, South Africa halted the rollout of the AstraZeneca vaccine following a study showing disappointing results against the variant. If we continue to see mutations, if these mutations can evade the vaccines, uh, we will have to start reformulating the vaccines and we could be looking at the potential for an annual vaccine. We just don't know yet. There are only three confirmed cases of the South Africa strain in the U.S., none in Florida. And experts say the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines should still be strong. Be reassured that the, the uh, vaccines that are now available are pretty darn effective still. Maybe not quite as effective as the original variant, but still really, really good. Dr. Michael Corrin is medical director at the Jacksonville Center for Clinical Research. Even people that get COVID-19 that have been vaccinated tend to have much milder cases. So there seems to be some protective effect of just having your immune system exposed to the vaccine. And the one-shot Johnson & Johnson vaccine is on track for emergency authorization through the FDA. Those doses could start shipping out in early March. David Jones, First Coast News, on your side.